What's up, YouTube? Figured I'd do a little vlog real quick, let you guys know what I've been up to. Haven't been working on the wolf. I've put that to the side for a little while. Got some other projects that I've been working on. Um, big art events coming up in Joplin. I thought I would knock a few things out and, and get it out there, let people see locally uh, what they thought, get some feedback, maybe I can sell some of this stuff. So anyway, I've been jamming on some other projects, so I put the wolf to the side. As soon as I get back to the wolf and really start making some progress, I will throw some more updates out there so everybody can uh, see how that thing's coming. Anyway, uh, take a look. Here's some of the things I've been working on, and uh, they should be coming up right now. So here it is. Here's a few of the projects I've been working on, mainly pumpkins so far, and uh, that skull right there. I uh, got some pictures I'll show you from kind of beginning to what it is now. This is almost the end product on these. These are pretty well done. They're done. It's all clay. Um, they're ready for paint. They're ready for seal. Uh, this pumpkin here. This one. It's kind of small. It turned out pretty neat. But like I said, it's... It's ready for paint. This one's ready for paint. He's a little bit taller than that one. And then I just made a standard pumpkin to throw out there. Um, who knows, maybe someone just wants a pumpkin for fall. Uh, I got a buddy of mine that's been wanting to learn how to do this. So he's come over as well and he's been working on some things. And this is his, uh, his clown pumpkin. <laughs> so far this thing's pretty badass. Uh... I really like it. It's tough. So this is the very first paper mache project, pumpkin project that he has ever done. And, uh, you know, I got to say that's it's pretty bitching. He did a good job with it. I'm really digging it. This thing's going to be gnarly when it's all done. So normally, my skull blanks that I do, um, I would take a, like this skull here, or I would take this skull here. I would wrap these up with some uh, nonstick foil, and then I would basically just paper mache or clay right over the tops of these, and then I would cut them off in three sections, peel everything back off, and then um, put it back together as a skull. Uh, which works great and works quick and they generally turned out uh, really neat the groundbreaker I made last year the rising spirit it, it was a, that skull I used was a skull that I did like that where I wrapped one of these and peeled it off however last night I threw this thing together uh, this is not this is not a skull that I covered and replicated so this is from the ground up starting with just a ball of newspaper Going from there, I wanted to prove a point to all those that were paper mache hating the other night on uh, Hunter's Hangout. The coolest thing about paper mache, even though it's a pain, is you can have anything. You're not limited. The only thing that limits you when it comes to this is your imagination. You can physically make anything from nothing. So have a look at this, and I'll show you uh, the first few steps to where I got to here. And literally, took a bunch of newspaper tape. Here it is. Only limitation you have is your imagination. I will forgive, but I won't forget. And I hope you know you've lost my respect. Oh, yeah, I can't forget this big guy right here. <laughs> this pumpkin's huge. This is another one that uh, I made for the art walk that's coming up. I mean, it's not done. Uh, he's still got to dry. That's a stem. But anyway, his mouth isn't really going to stay this way either. I'm going to take all these teeth 
And once I unpack this, I'm going to sand this down. And now I'll come in from the back side with the clay too. And we're physically going to round these teeth out. Once these teeth are round out, rounded out, then I'm going to build a gum line all along here. And then above that will be like, um, oh, I guess what you'd call pumpkin flesh or whatever above that. And then there'll be the gum line down here. I want this mouth, as it comes around through here, to give that expression like a dog has when it snarls. It lifts its lips up, and you see this gum line and these nasty teeth. So that's the vision for this pumpkin as well. Also, just like the other ones, um, stay tuned. I'll give you a quick few pictures of how this thing started out from uh, beginning to where it is now. Hopefully by mid-week, this thing will be pretty much done and ready for paint. So anyway, here's uh, here's how, how it came All right, so there it is. There's a quick update on the props that I've been working on or the other projects I've been working on. Uh, like I said, I have less than three weeks to get this stuff done. Uh, six pumpkins, so I'm going to knock out six of those skulls like that, different poses. I'm going to corpse some of them. Uh, some of them will just be standard skulls, what, whatever. So six pumpkins, six skulls. I'm going to do some spell books. I uh, plan on doing some potion bottles and some different things like that as well. As those projects come along, um, I'll show you guys those too. If they turn out pretty decent anyway. Thanks for watching. Peace.